Good morning, everybody. This is Lula in Hawaii. I'm doing some French paper crafts at the moment. been working on some all week because I find I've got quite a lot of old French texts around, and I like to give myself a break and do something different. I have this old book, nine, let's see, it was 1893 with the date on it, and it's all French paper, and it's still in excellent condition. It really is, and very strong. So I'll be making some envelopes, and I want to show you how I do that. The first thing is I put two pieces of paper together, two pages, in other words, and on the front, on, on the top, the script is going the correct way, but on the back, it's upside down. And that's so that when you fold it, the script is going to be the correct way. At least you don't want it like that. The other thing I do is I reinforce with another piece of French paper just here, so that that's where I'll be punching the hole for the tie. And then the other thing I do is I figure out some sort of um, decoration for there, for the bottom part. So, and I love to use corrugated cardboard. And so I'm just going to go to the machine and sew that on. Normally I would sew that in the center perhaps, but just for fun I'm going to sew it off to the side, offset a bit. Okay, so I've cut a little bit of the uh, trim of the paper off and then I shape that a little bit. Sometimes I shape them, for example, this one I didn't shape the sides, I've just sewn around it and it is sewn it like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, I'm not going to add this till um, I've sewn it up. Next thing I'll sew around it and I've just folded it and the flaps open. So I go down one side. Maybe I'll leave that light on. Okay, so now I've sewn it, as you can see. And inside I might put a note card that I make, just a, just a plain card with a stamp on it. And, that, and you can put a little note in that. You can decorate the card further, cut it with fancy scissors if you want. However, that's all I'm going to do on that. So I've got that folded. Now I'm going to figure out where I want that, and I think probably about there. So I'm going to use different glue for that. I'll use some of this glue. Just glue that on. I don't want to do too much stitching on the old paper, the text. So these pieces are best glued on. Okay. So that'll be like that. And then the last thing to do is to punch the hole there. You could use those hole reinforcements too. And I sometimes have done that, but I wanted to keep it in the recycled sort of thing. Okay. So there, that's punched. So there, that's that. Now to tie it shut, I have a little bit of a trick, not too much, but just a slight trick. I like to, um, I take a finer twine, thinner twine in other words, so if you don't have the really thin twine, you can usually undo a ply from regular twine or string, and I take a yard or a meter and put it through, let me get the end that will go through, put it through the hole I punched. And the paste to tie that, because um, the person receiving it could very easily lose the twine. So. And that's essential for keeping it closed, because you don't glue it closed. Okay, so I've, so I've tied that on there. Now I have one of the pieces going to the back and one to the front. And I just simply wrap them, wrap the twine until I've got just enough left to tie it. Oh, I think that's about right. So right at the top here, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'll bring it up to the camera in a minute. But I'm just tying 
a one loop bow. It's kind of, because it's all recycled, it's kind of messy look. Uh, another day this week, I'm going to show you a couple more French paper crafts. So there's, here we go. Now to present these, if you're giving them as a gift, and say this has got the tie already, and as I say, I'll put little note cards or gift cards inside. So I gather up, I think six is nice. Then what's going in it? So that's two, four. Of course, I haven't tied this one yet. Five, but pretend it's tied. Six. So six is a nice gift. So there we go. Six of those. And then I take some torn muslin or twill or something that's been tea dyed. And I'm just going to make a tie. Again, one loop tie. Or bow, I guess you could call it. And there are all those messy strings. Great. They add to the decoration. Of course, you could always put a button on these. I like to keep the color neutral, but think of the ways you could decorate this. I take pages from old magazines. I, these were stamped, these ones. I stamped those and then I mounted them, as you saw, onto some corrugated cardboard. Other things I use are pictures. For example, this is an old French magazine, so you could tear out or cut out one of the little pictures if you wanted to and sometimes it has some nice um, script so I would do that but I try and keep them neutral and um, that's a nice presentation and I would probably put a card in each one for them to write on as a gift but in one of them I would put um, maybe a card for Barnes & Noble or something like that or Starbucks coffee or something like that I'd put that in one of them and the rest I'd just put one of these cards with a stamp on that they can write on anyway hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching bye bye